By now, you've seen me make chocolate from scratch, starting with the seeds from the cacao pod. But this time around, I wanted more of a challenge, so I made homemade hot chocolate bombs stuffed with mini marshmallows, and here's the whole process. First, I remove the fruit from the cacao pods, and yes, the fruit is edible. It tastes similar to a lychee, and inside is the cacao seed. I then cover it with a towel, and every day I would mix the seeds around to avoid any mold. But keep in mind, this is the process of fermenting, so it will start to smell pungent like vinegar. Then spread the fruit on a baking sheet and bake at 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. This process will burn off the remains of the fruit and roast the cacao seeds inside. And now this next part is definitely a labor of love because you have to peel the skin off the cacao seeds by hand. And that took about 30 minutes, which I forgot to film. And now I'm using old footage from my last attempt at making chocolate. The giveaway is that there's no nail polish on my nails on this part of the video, if you noticed. Once you peel and crush cacao seeds, you end up with cacao nibs. Add the nibs into the blender with sugar and cocoa butter and blend. I repeated this process a few times and took breaks to scrape down the sides of the blender and blend it until the oil released from the cacao. But I have to warn you, if you are actually brave enough to attempt making this, I recommend a high-powered blender like a Vitamix. Even with a Vitamix, I still have my chocolate slightly grainy. I then had to melt the chocolate on a double broiler to smooth it out as best as I could. Next, I brushed chocolate around my chocolate bomb molds. I froze it for 5 minutes and brushed a second layer of chocolate and froze it for another 20 minutes. I actually found these chocolate molds on Amazon for about $10 and they came in small or large. I ordered the small because I wasn't sure on the size, but I think I made the right choice because I fit 5 mini marshmallows in there perfectly. I also decided not to put cocoa powder in my hot chocolate bombs because I had two layers of chocolate already and I thought that would be just chocolate overload. So I'm going to be completely honest here. I was not confident coming into this. I never made hot chocolate bombs before and I definitely shouldn't have started with cacao pods because it was really intimidating. So I was actually very surprised when the molds came out perfectly round and I was able to actually even close it with the marshmallows inside. But here comes the moment of truth. Will my hot almond milk melt the chocolate bombs enough in order to get the satisfying release of marshmallows? Wait for it. Wait for it. And there it is. So after a whole week of making hot chocolate bombs from scratch, I can honestly say it was not worth it. Sure, it tasted good, but not great. Next time, I'm going to Starbucks.